hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to insert multiple checkbox value into a database in PHP so guys let's get started with it so let's move to our editor so guys I am using bootstrap 5 to design this user interface so that it looks great and now guys let's design the form to insert the data of multiple checkboxes so let's create a form first form and we are going to check with the brands thing so first let us give this method where i am going to tell this method will be post and now let's create that form hyphen group where input dot where you are going to tell this as check box and this name will be name name oops name name which will be brands okay so we are going to take brands values checkbox values so we don't require class let me just give value this brand will be red mi brand and give red mi so let's copy and paste again and again for this so let me just give a bear tag paste and let's change all this value so make sure you are giving the same name for this and then over here you are going to change that let's give samsung copy and paste over here samsung and then nokia select and then vivo select with this vivo and now here you are going to give a uh, something carbon paste and let's create one button to save that form group where I'm going to create a button for submit so let's save a multiple checkbox we will tell okay so this is my button name and now let's give this button type as submit and this button name will be as save save underscore multi pull checkbox okay and design this button using the class button primary save and now let's see the output guys for this get back refresh you can see this list right so when you select with this three input box this data should get saved in your database so let's get back to our editor and code that let's give just one simple query margin bottom three and now here guys so when we go to code.php with the post method it will take all the input wax values so let's copy and go to code.php with the paste method post come here and check if the button is clicked or not so we can check that using is set function and inside this dollar post where you are going to call your button so if the button is clicked you will be inside this if condition and now let us check that brands so let us create one variable called brands is equal to dollar underscore post of your brand so let us call that brands copy this and paste over here so now let us echo this first so what happens let us see echo save and now let's get back refresh and now i'm going to click over here so you can see uh, i want just to show you step by step so let's click over here you can see array to string conversion it is stored in array format so we have to explore that let's comment this and let's copy this brands again and then break this using for each loop let's use for each where brands as dollar item we will tell okay and this dollar item we are going to echo echo give save and now let us check this output let's get back once again and yep guys let us save multiple you can see that red mi samsung and then nokia so these are the values which we have selected over here let me just select with vivo you 
can see that values it's getting dismissed so let me just give one break line over here let's continue cool so you can see all the values has come which we have selected so guys now let's insert this value into our database so for that let's write the query okay so let me just comment with this and inside this you are going to write the query for it to store into database so before creating your query you need to create the database let's get back so i have already created a database php tutorials well inside that i have created one table called demo and then i have created one id and the name so let me just show you the structure of it so you can see id is primary key and integer of 11 and then name is varchar 191 values so now let us insert the data into this table let me just browse here and move with it so let's create a statement or a query to insert that so let's type insert into table name so my table is demo where all the column fields and its values of the input fields so my column fields are nothing but name let's copy this is primary key just ignore that because auto incremented so we don't require let's give name and the names of your items are nothing but inside this brand called item which we have so let's call this dollar item copy and paste that's it make sure you're giving in a single quote otherwise it will show an error so let's execute this above statement so how will you execute that with mysql like query function so this will execute your above statement so let's copy this so before copying need to copy your connection string first give your connection string and then we will uh, copy this query and paste over here so this is a dollar query so if it is successful you need to show the message so we will give if condition over here where if this dollar query is successful inserted then you need to move on else you need to go there so we will print a message using session status okay so now over here whoops, let's give is equal to where inside this we will tell inserted successfully and go back header location i want to go to the same page so after that so how will you move there use header location where i want to go on the same page so let's copy the page name this is my page i want to go to this page after saving that let's move over here and then give else condition if did not save at that time you need to show this again message by showing different message data not inserted okay save and to show this message on this page you need some session so let's copy this session and start over here start and php close now to show this message you need some php code to show that so let me just paste that okay so this is simple query code to show their message using session where i have echoed and unset that session so guys now let us just view the output and check all this data gets inserted according to it so let's move over here now let me just refresh let's click on this red mi samsung and nokia so three fields we are going to insert i'm just ignoring with this and let's see right now it is empty so let's insert that data let's click on save multiple checkbox inserted successfully let me just see over here browse again cool so all the three values are inserted into database so guys we have completed that how to insert multiple checkbox value into database so guys now in next video we will be seeing about if you required like how to get these multiple values from your database these values inside a checkbox by looping it so which will be we don't need to repeat this again and again so for that let's watch out the next video about it so link given in description so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share